Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working here, guys, on a Dodge Dart. And if your uh, front right power window doesn't work, guys, on the one on the passenger side, front power window doesn't work, we will explain, guys, which fuse you need to check. Now, there are actually a few reasons why your window may not work. It could be a bad window motor, it could be a bad regulator, but if it's a bad regulator, you will hear, guys, your window motor going up and down or trying to go up and down. Or it could be, guys, bad fuse could be a window switch as well and we'll have a video on the channel that explains how to diagnose a window that doesn't work uh, but in today's video we'll show you guys where the fuse is located for the front right power window the one on the passenger side quick introduction every car we get at the shop guys we make at least 200 videos why we do all that guys because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video hopefully you will find the information helpful if you want to save guys even more money okay check out the link in the description of the video below you can get car parts tools for super good price guys and very fast shipping as well i'll go ahead and open the tra the, the hood quick guys so i can show you okay where one of the fuse boxes is located but will you actually have three fuse boxes so let me show you guys which one we need to lock it this is a 2015 dodge dart but even if you have a older or newer dodge dart the procedure should be the same so this is the main engine fuse box but our fuse guys okay it's not there it's not there for the windows guys what you need to do we need to go inside the vehicle you need to open the door guys okay and as you can see we have that cover under the steering wheel completely removed why simply guys because we have a hidden okay we actually have two fuse boxes one is okay you can kind of see the fuses behind the steering wheel you access it from underneath okay right there this is the fuse box and the other one is right here and if you want to see how to remove that cover and how to access the bcm fuse box so check out guys the video on the channel it's called uh, fuse box locations on dodge dart we have it on the channel and it will explain how to remove all that and get to it but if you don't know how to, I don't, uh, if you know how to, I don't want to waste your time watching that, guys. So, that being said, that being removed, guys, let me show you what we need to do. We're going to grab those cables now out of the way, so they're not, okay, in the way, guys. And here now, okay, we have, guys, check it out, we have uh, the fuse box, okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fit through here to see what is the best I can do okay maybe a little bit like that it will be a little bit sideways but you'll be able to see it perfect so the fuse guys that we're looking at now okay we need to find the second fuse okay the second fuse from top uh, from bottom to top in the middle row if you have a missing fuse count it as well you have the yellow one then you have that 10 one that fuse oh it is guys one two three okay one two three four fifth fuse from top to bottom this is a 25 amp fuse i'll go ahead grab it guys and pull it out now let me see if i'm going to grab the right one because sometimes okay a little bit of a limited room and it's hard for me to show you with the camera so this is the fuse we got it out guys now if you guys want to buy replacement fuses check out the link in the description of the video below guys you can get that whole box for a super good price instead of just getting a few fuses at your local parts store we'll go ahead okay and now install the fuse in the slot that we removed it so make sure that you get it in correctly okay and if something doesn't want to go in okay don't force it guys perfect ours is in all the way all the way in now so i'm a little bit sideways by the way okay perfect to reposition it okay we're ready here now so what i'll do i'll go ahead and turn the ignition on ignition is on as you can see so what we're going to do our attempt to see if that window will go down now so check it out now it works guys okay with no problem at all so that definitely guys fixes our problem hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do anything like that thank you for watching please subscribe to your channel for more videos and see you guys next time